Hey, hey guys, and welcome to Daily Commitment, where we do a little bit of exercise every day, and then we increase that exercise very slowly. Uh, if you've been here for a while, we do that in different ways. Sometimes we increase in number, sometimes we increase in weight, sometimes we increase in actually doing exercise correctly. It makes it a little harder. Uh, anyway... Uh, we're way behind. It's like two or three in the morning again. We didn't get out during the daytime. So that's the way it goes sometimes with daily commitment. But we're here. We've got a habit of doing those exercises every day. We're going to do them. Yeah, most of the time. We'll skip every once in a while. I think I had three this year I've skipped or something. Maybe I've only skipped five total maybe. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway. That is really squeaky here. Do I usually not sit on this spot? Or do I not notice it's squeaking? That's weird. Hmm. Who knows what's up with life? Alright. Uh, what am I thinking? That was the first 10. Um, yeah, I'm a little out of it. I woke up. I fell asleep and then woke up. I was um, off schedule a little bit. And then I worked. And I got back from work. And then I ate like big and I was like oh I'm so full and yeah, I fell asleep so anyway then I woke up and it was like past midnight I was like oh god I've got other things I was going to do right but I was like oh shit I need to do my daily commitment today better get to it so here we are doing the daily commitment hey just 17 of these these are really easy these are our curls just 17 with a 10 pound weight that's not asking yourself for much right and once you get used to doing that little bit every day, then you slowly increase that little bit. And so here, we uh, we just started this exercise this year. We started at seven, I think. And now we're up to 17. Just going real slow in that increase. And uh, we're gonna get to 18, 19, then we're gonna get to 20. Now once we get to 20, then things are gonna be a little bit different. At 20, at some point, you know, around 20, I call it the rule of 20. I just made it up out of nowhere. Uh, guess what? We're going to actually go up in weight. We're not just going to stick with this weight because this weight is not very high. And uh, that'll be fun. It'll be fun when we go up in weight. But right now, we're training our habit, right, with a really easy exercise. And we're also slowly building up to make sure there's no problems building up to it. Letting our muscles just grow real slowly, real slow growth. Very interesting theory. Let me see if it works. Anyway, great job on those. 17, happy dappy. Uh, this crap all over my floor because I just kind of jumped into this video because I was bullshitting around the computer before it was time to uh, do my daily commitment. All right. And then I'm like, I just got to do it. Just don't wait. Just jump into it. So I just grab the camera and I'm like, go, go, go. Anyway, uh, push-ups. So this is interesting. These guys, we do it wrong. But we did them. We went from knee push-ups to regular push-ups to, to like 12. And then we realized we were doing it wrong. We improved our form. And then we had to kind of rebuild from like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No. We were still doing our form wrong, and now we're rebuilding again. So, uh, if you heard yesterday, uh, yes, that's the weight uh, best thing. Is that? I think right, right there is probably a good spot. I'm, I don't know why I'm moving it. Like, my arms will go over here, so leave it there. Anyway, the point is, yesterday we got three good ones. We got three good ones. Three good ones. And then I did two knee push-ups just to keep working on it since I'm so so far behind on this exercise. So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take my hands right under my shoulders. I'm going to take them back a little bit, out a little bit. All right. I'm going to make sure my head, I will. i got to look at the camera to make sure you guys can see it. I'll head straighten my head last. First, we're going to straighten legs, tighten our uh, thighs and stuff, tighten our buttocks, tighten our stomach, tighten our chest, tighten our head. All right. Now we're going to come, we'll make sure our, our hands are not our hands, our elbows are at our sides. That's really the key as we come up from this plank. Is we want our elbows at our sides. Oof. Even one was hard to pump out there. 
Let's see how two feels. Elbows at the sides. Tuck elbows. Tuck elbows. All right. I think we got two, but I think we might want to switch to knee push-ups for the last, last ones. I thought this might happen with yesterday. I was so burnt after doing the first three. I looked at my. I looked at the video. My arms were shaking on number three as I made sure I held them. There, I can't do the shake, but it was like that little shake you get when you're barely holding it. Because I kept them pinned. I kept them pinned. Not pinned exactly, but you know, parallel to my side here. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some knee push-ups here. Uh, it just makes sense to me to, to do a little more. Two seems like such a low amount. Okay, so I got my knees here to make it nice and easy. I'm going to tighten my thighs, my buttocks, my, uh, what do you call this? chest, my neck, try to keep everything straight. All right, let's come right up. One, knee push up. All right, actually move my legs back a little bit. It's not weird, knee, knee push ups are weird because you don't have the same angle because your feet usually bring you up a little bit, which is kind of interesting. I'll do a couple of these. I noticed looking at my hands, my hands are even, my left hand's a little higher than my right hand. And I tend to do that for some reason. So I'm going to bring my right hand up a little bit, my left hand back a little bit, and uh, let's keep that knee push-up stance. It's kind of weird, like I said, but we want to really work on this form and make sure we're always keeping those elbows pinned every time we come down. And if there's a lot of weight, then we can mess up that form, right? So let's just go all the way down, and then one more time, all the way back up. <sighs> ah, my elbows flared, I think, in the last one, but that's okay. We're working on it. It's weird doing the knee push-ups, but I'm really burning it out right now. And uh, I know I say do 70% of your maximum, and, and that's kind of the general thing I've been doing, but this is such a low amount. I feel like at the very beginning here, doing the maximum is not as dangerous. It's not really the beginning too, because I was doing a high number. Maybe I should be doing less though, according to my philosophy. I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Really been pushing myself every day to do as many as I can, just to full burn on the regular push-ups. And now I'm doing these little knee push-ups too, so I'm kind of pushing the edge of that. Maybe I need to like slow my roll on that, you know, because I could do some damage in here. I'm being real gentle with my other exercises, so maybe I've got this energy left, you know, because I've been doing these squats, and it's not that hard to do 17 squats, you know, even with this weight on here, because I haven't. It's only 20 pounds. Like, I, and I used to do 64 with not 20 pounds, so 17 doesn't seem like much. We're going to be back at 20 soon with the weighted squats now instead of with the regular squats. So, I don't know, guys. We might purposely tomorrow just do two push-ups, right? Just stop at that and say, hey, you know, we want to get back to more like 70% of maximum and maybe try for three in a week instead of pushing to burn out. And then I know I'm working my form and I can concentrate on keeping my these guys pinned as I'm doing the push-ups easier when I'm doing the knee, because it's just much less weight, but it throws everything out of whack, because I'm trying to stay straight in the push-up, but usually I've got my feet, that little extra prop, and you can feel yourself plank. It's like your feet balance the distance here. Your hands are a little off the ground, too, and I got a pokey chest, so that's a little, you know, right there, size-wise, but when your knees, it's like all of a sudden you're at this weird angle where you're lower here, and so I want to kind of put my butt up a little bit to kind of make that same little opening or plank. Oh, no, no, I gotta let my belly really mush against the floor differently. Everything feels different just on those knee push ups. But anyway, we'll keep messing with it. Um, it just it doesn't feel like I'm pushing myself because I was doing more push ups before, but I realized that I wasn't using the same muscles, right? So, anyway, who knows? We'll keep working on it. We'll see what happens, right? Um, let's go ahead and get this uh, weight vest on. Yeah, I think maybe I had been pushing the push ups a little bit too hard, but that's okay. We'll just we'll tone it down tomorrow. We'll have a light day tomorrow. We'll just do two, and uh, and we won't even do the third one. And we'll let our muscles rest and recuperate. And then every day will be both a workout day and a rest and recuperation day because we're shooting for seventy percent of maximum instead of our maximum. So I think that's our new plan. Because the knee push-ups, they just the form isn't quite the same because you don't have your feet there. And I think it's kind of knocking me off a little bit. I'll, I'll I'll start really focusing and looking at my videos every time I'm done, and saying, okay, you know. Are you doing a good push-up? You know, and, and keep keep working on my form and getting good ideas and changing it again if I need to. You know, just being real flexible with that. Anyway, very interesting stuff, guys. 
can't wait to review this video and see. I think I started coming out of form on that fifth uh, knee push up. My my belt levels were flaring out. Definitely on the third regular rep, I was I was losing it, man. Ah. Uh, anyway. Funny, funny stuff. Anyway, let's do. I always kind of use my back to the wall, but there's plenty of space doing it this way too. Let's try doing different. Let's try just leaving my camera. This could be new technology. And just angling it like that. And now kind of facing it instead of having a side on view. Because we've really been talking about this was one of our changes in form. And at the beginning of this year, we were getting 63 every time. 63 every time. Then we went to 64. And, or, or no, did we, well, I, around there, around going from 63 to 64, but we were nailing it. Just pushing ourselves to do it every time. I started changing my form here. And I tried to make sure my knees were out farther by doing this move here, right? And when I did that, when I did that, I noticed two things. One, I tried to do this every time. I would just go like this, and I would, you know, um, try to stand up from here too every time and all that. But it, I found it kind of put me up a little taller in my squat. And then I was practicing that. It was just all this. It was it was a big interruption, and it made it so I could do less. I was doing like 50 and 40, and some days were like 30. And I'm like, these inside muscles started hurting and stuff. But I think it was good for my form. So, anyway, that's the rebuild form talk with these guys. But anyway, 17 is not too bad with these. 20 pounds doesn't add that much since I was doing so many before. Even when I was doing my light days, you know, 50, I would think it was a light day. Anyway, let's keep that head tucked. We got our knees in the right position. We got shoulder width apart down here, and let's come on up, guys, with our special front arm motion. One, all right. Two, three. There's not quite as much room for your arms here. I'm about to bang the wall on the right here, but it's all right. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. And usually after eight, I do this. Make sure we're keeping those knees nice and spread. Eight. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. For the last rep, I want to space here and just see how do we feel. Pretty good, nice and spread. All right, seventeen. And again, with this one, we could do more. We don't have the same feeling we have on the push-ups. So, yeah, I'm not going to push myself to my max if I'm doing push-ups. I just thought I would come back from the form readjustment faster, but I didn't. Even just the difference between this and this is huge. That's what I've learned in your ability to kind of cheat and use your shoulders for the exercise. But anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for listening to the end of the video. I should say that more. And just for fun, like and subscribe. I, I never say that, but I'm throwing that in this video just for fun. Hey, what can I say? I'm a rebel. Um, anyway, guys, most important things are a little bit every day adds up to a lot. Make it a habit. Make it easy. And good luck with your daily commitments. You guys have a good one.